that's the intro. This one's gonna be another quick one, episode seven. A reminder, I still have my iPhone X giveaway for a few more days, so be sure to check that out. First link uh, down below. In terms of mail time, I already tweeted about this, and just an FYI, if you ever wanna chit chat, Twitter is probably the best place to reach me. But basically, I picked up the Snapchat Spectacles 2. These little guys that make you look like an alien. They're kind of clunky, it still shows a ring when you're recording, so it's not super conspicuous, suspi conspicuous, spy-like when you're in public. These are the mirrored versions. They also have like a blackout one. Uh, this was the only thing available on Amazon.ca. So um, I kind of like them, but I wouldn't keep them. I got these mainly because it provides a point of view that you can't really get with any other camera that just won't weigh you down a ton. And these just look like and feel the most natural. And what makes it super interesting is that Snapchat actually opened up the export so you can now take footage out of the Snapchat app, Snap the Snapchat app and use it in any other platform like this video or even on Instagram if you really wanted to. Now the quality is not gonna be 4K or super amazing, but if you need that point of view, you can't beat this. And if you tell a good story, quality doesn't really matter. That didn't work. I just released a new episode of What's In My Pocket, episode four, summer edition, co collab collabing with Bespoke Post. So check that out. Probably a second or third link down below. In terms of inventory, I'm still adding new stuff. I still have the Apple leather sleeve for 10.5 inch saddle brown available. So check that out down below. Remember use the code accessorize me to save 10% on that specific product. Anyways, Q and A time. First question from Kate Capital. If you could dye your hair any color, what would it be? Honestly, I kind of feeling white just because it will make me look super sage and advisory, not advisory. What's the word? Kind of wise, wise, super wise, white hair. Joe Weaver asked if you could choose one phone pre-2010 for the rest of your life, what would it be? Probably a Blackberry. I actually really dig physical keyboards. I've been trying to find cases that could give me a physical keyboard on the iPhone. There was one, they went through like a lawsuit. It wasn't really a great case anyways, but I kind of loved it. But uh, there's none available now and I just don't like carrying external keyboards. So I kind of just live life without a keyboard now. Asad al Barani asked, what editing software do you use? I've mentioned this many times. I use Premiere Pro simply because I run Windows and you can't run FCPX, whatever acronym it is, on Windows. Um, although I'd love to use it, I just can't afford Mac hardware. Sean asked a really good one. How'd you come up with your channel name? Accessorize me just simply means all the accessories in the world. And if you use the first part of that sentence, excess, it just means there's too many accessories. So accessorize me with all these accessories. It's a summary of basically what it means. I honestly don't know how I came up with it, but I do remember that accessorize.me, the URL existed. And I was like, this is perfect. Fits my name perfectly. Ben Cross asked, what phone do you use every day? iPhone X, obviously. David Fryaz asked, what motivated you to start YouTube? It's basically a necessity. I quit my job and I really had nothing else to do. I was gonna do a blog. I suck at writing. So I started doing video and that's that. Last one from Galaxy Girl. Rate the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil on a scale of one to 10. Combined, 10 out of 10. Separate, still 10 out of 10. I would get both. They're amazing for what they are. Amazing drawing tablet, amazing for storyboarding what I do, scripting. Even throwing the smart keyboard, that's like the perfect setup for me. I just wish they had more robust applications I can use for full on editing. They do have a one editing app, but it's just too cumbersome right now because there's no mouse input. I'm really hopeful for the new iPads when they come out and the software that it's gonna enable. Bunch of other questions still, and I will use these in future episodes, so keep asking them. Leave a comment below with your questions. But anyways, that's it. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more. Again, leave that comment down below, and uh, I rest my case.